Welcome dreamers back to my Dreamlight Valley Decor YouTube channel. Please make sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video, please. It really helps my channel. I really, 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 really appreciate it more than you know. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this build. So um, as you guys have noticed lately, I've just been absolutely obsessed with these buildings. I absolutely love them and so i had to just keep on trying different styles of putting them together and as you can see i one thing i like about these videos is that it shows you like my thought process it shows you like i don't cut out like the things that i don't end up using like you guys see what i end up trying to put into it what i what it didn't work what i didn't like and so um, that's the one thing I do like about these videos and I hope that you guys enjoy that too so you kind of get my thought process and see how I try to put things together it does it doesn't just magically work out perfectly for me in my brain I have to try a few different things which is why it has to be a clean slate it has to be completely blank canvas for me to um, do these builds so and you also see me pull from different areas too in this build so i really wanted to create like a cute like garden like um like if you've guys seen have have watched bridgerton you know how like those big castles have like those beautiful like gigantic walkthrough gardens i i guess that's what they're called even if they don't have like a bunch of flowers it's just like mostly like shrubs and paths and statues um i was going for that kind of vibe so that is what i did and so i put a few of i kept trying to see if i wanted the haunted mansion again as in my last video guys you saw that i was struggling i was like do i want to put the haunted mansion there do i not uh and so i thought that i did want the haunted mansion there but as you'll see i end up changing my mind so <laughs> As I always do so I just start trying to put things together see how I like it as you guys can see like I'm like mm, maybe I want the back of it because what I would have loved to have done is make it to where I can do a front yard for it and a backyard but these buildings are just so big that there's really not enough space no matter where I think I put them unless I completely tore down um, Peaceful Meadows. I think Peaceful Meadows is the only large enough space that you could possibly do a front yard and a backyard for these buildings. Um, so in the other biomes, there's just not enough space because these buildings are so massive. So with what I was trying to go for, I just ended up um, doing a garden-like thing instead of instead of doing a front and backyard so as you can see here i'm trying to use the shrubs because i absolutely love them but it wasn't it wasn't giving it wasn't they're just too big for what i was going for like they take up they're just tall they're tall they're taller than i wanted so then i said no never mind see like as you guys can see in this process like i'm like trying to figure it out here like what do i want do i want this building do i want the shrubs so um and where I got the inspiration was from, um, the inspiration was from a picture on Pinterest, as usual. Um, and as you can see, I'm trying to line it up perfectly. Of course, my biggest pet peeve with decorating when it comes to Dreamlight Valley is their grid system. It drives me absolutely insane because nothing lines up the way that you want it to. It doesn't line up perfectly, but it is what it is. So. I try to line it up the best that I can and um, I definitely wanted to use the Eric statue and I was gonna try to use the panda statues from one of the previous star paths but then I realized I didn't even get those in the star path <laughs> I was like, oops, and I was like struggling guys to try to find them. I'm like, I can't order them in the shop. I can't find them. Why not? Well, because you never ended up getting those in the star path. So I don't have those statues. So I can only use the Hercules ones, which I recently got. Thank God, finally, because I missed it the first time around. So the Eric statue, however, I did have trouble when I was trying to, I was trying to order another Eric statue and I couldn't. So I don't know, is that a thing? Like, am I able to, am I not able to order another one? Do you only get one? Um, let me know. Like, I'm not sure. Do you only get one or can you order more? I can't, 
because I couldn't find it in the shop. Let me know in the comments, but um, so I ended up using, thank goodness, oh my gosh, thank God for the Hercules statues because then I don't know what I would have done for statues for this design because I really needed statues for this design. It wouldn't have looked the same without them. It just, it's, it's the vibe of the build. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm trying to figure out what kind of, which fountain I want to use. Um, there's so many and I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. I kind of wanted this one, but the only reason why I didn't use it is because it kind of blocks the Eric statue. If it was a little, if the statue in the middle of it was a little smaller and didn't block the Eric statue, then I would have used it. But because it blocks the Eric statue, I want the Eric statue to be bigger, taller. I'm sorry. I want it to be taller than the fountain, but I wanted the fountain to be a little bit bigger than the Beauty and the Beast one, if that makes sense. But I couldn't find that. So I just used the Beauty and the Beast one. And I think I put like shrubs around it. We'll see. I can't remember. And <laughs> um but I do like the new I might end up replacing it. We'll see. But I like the new if you guys have seen the new premium shop that was um launched today they have a new fountain and it goes so well with the vibe of the hercules statues so i might replace it we'll see i don't know because it is a little bit bigger which is what i wanted but i don't know if it's taller than the eric statue i guess we'll find out but so i ended up using the beauty and the beast one and so now i'm using i'm looking look guys like literally like i look at the picture and i try as much as i can to replicate so like the little tie wood um the little rocks in the garden like i just tried to use the pat little path spaces like as you can see little square paths um i'll put where i see them in the picture and then the shrubs same thing i'm just trying to place everything in the same location to make it look um like it, oh, they're all in alignment um so i do try to like make sure that it's as aligned as possible um so that it looks good it looks um i can't think of the word i'm looking for but you know what i'm trying to say right <laughs> um so um i love using the little um the pass like this and like to make it look like kind of like little rocks i think it, it makes the uh makes the garden stand out even more and it makes it look a little bit more designed and um it looks really good to me I, I like it a lot so um as i fill in the path you'll see that i take from my previous build because i really don't need it over there and i needed more path and i didn't want to have to go craft any so you know you gotta do what you gotta do for the build right um <laughs> but like i said in the last video these buildings are just so big i ended up using a lot more path than i realized i was gonna need like i thought that i had plenty of um materials for it but i didn't and so here we go like i'm trying to like so i wanted like a two-tone another like path next to it not a path but i hope you know what i'm trying to say but i wanted something underneath a different like pathing to go with it and as you can see i didn't like the other one i liked this one these they, they just go so well together the brown and the brick just go so well together and it also matches they both also match the building in itself right so it just they look so good together it matches perfectly with the hook color scheme and so i really like that path as well so we just i just ended up using that again and of course i also had to adjust the path to make them put to make them look like they are more in alignment as close as possible because again it's very hard to align everything with the grid system and so then from there i'm just putting the shrubs in different locations but i still want the like the little random square paths to be visible um, and then this would work so perfectly, the gazebo, the glass gazebo. You know what I would really love? I really would love if we had like a wooden gazebo, a wooden gazebo with greenery on it. Oh, that would be stunning in case the devs are watching, which they probably aren't and never will, but it doesn't hurt to try. 
I would be so excited for that. Buy it ASAP. And so I continue. I want the path to also look like it's kind of going around the buildings and around the um, around the garden so that it looks a little bit more like the buildings are on a not just plain grass i want the them to look like it's also like sitting on the brick but again i ran out so i just did the best that i could with what i had i made it look as close as possible and you know because i'm going to end up i'm taking pictures at specific angles so as long as the angle makes it look like i have a you know a payoff there that's what matters <laughs> But I think it came out pretty decent. It came out better than I expected, actually. I wanted to try to use that, um, again, the Alice in Wonderland um, arch, but the thing is way too big and it would have blocked, um, it would have blocked what I was going like the, to be able to see. So I didn't use it. I don't know, I might change that later, but um, I actually might end up using it when I'm trying, cause I'm trying to connect the bills from the last video that I posted to this one. I'm trying to see if I can connect them and then it would be one big build, which would actually be really cool. Um, but we're gonna see, I gotta see how, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. Um, that is gonna be a very big challenge for me because I want it to look cute and um, I want it to go in with the vibe of what I have going on now and I need more materials to create these paths because I used majority of it and I actually might take some from the plaza anyway because I'm redoing my plaza slowly very very slowly so we'll see so as you can see um, the, I, I um, end up taking the benches from the, the plaza because like I said I'm redoing the plaza um it's been like that for that plus has been like that for probably almost a year or more so it is time to refresh the plot refresh the plaza i don't know what i'm going to do yet but we'll see and then i end up using these in the garden as well i forgot what they're called uh, but i thought that went perfectly with the vibe that i was going for and then the beauty and the beast um big marble vases that I wish that they would put plants in just like in the Beauty and the Beast realm but I digress and then um, I'm just trying to you know make the path connect and make it look a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing so I think that you know adding more path makes a big difference because that brick is just so beautiful and it helps make it stand out so much more and i didn't want the benches i want the benches still in the grass i didn't want them on the brick so i had to move everything over a little bit and then from there it just it started to look really really good i was actually very excited and then again i was trying like do i want to add the house on the side maybe do i want to put it here and that was the no-go it just didn't work out i kept trying different ways so i just added another one of those buildings <laughs> and then um i put a fence because i and the brick fence obviously goes perfectly with the brick buildings it's just it's such a vibe like they just go perfectly together how cute would it be if those vases beauty and the beast vases had actual plants just like in the beauty and the beast oh my god they would be so pretty i hope that they fix that or maybe they sell new ones or something because I would love the plants and that's how it came out so I'm gonna give you guys a little walk through so you see how it looks it just looks so fancy to me I love the little I love the little Hercules statues and the Eric statue I just wanted some sort of pavement pavement design under the gazebo um, don't really like it but better than nothing I probably would have looked better if I just did the little just like I did in the garden those little square paths ran randomly underneath it probably would have looked better and so this is how it looks guys I hope you enjoyed I hope you like the build and um, I I stick I would stick around if you guys can make sure to subscribe so you can see as you can see my other build if you want to see that video go ahead and check my previous videos it's the last video I did I'm gonna try to connect them somehow here um, 
because they're they're the same vibe so stay tuned make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it follow me on my socials they're all dreamlight valley decor and thank you guys so much i appreciate you guys so much thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video